Hi, I'm Berg van Beek and with this video I want to explain the Akiyuki Type 2 GBC train system. Akiyuki developed the Type 2 train system in 2019 and was kind enough to make all building instructions available for free on his website. Next, the Great Ball Contraption community on Eurobricks made further improvements to enhance the reliability of the Type 2 train system and come up with new modules, including myself. For most improved modules you will find free building instructions on my Rebrickable page. In the description of this video there are links to all modules shown here. This is the Type 2 train with a removable container for the balls. The original train uses the Power Functions battery box and an M motor, but you can also use an L, the large motor. I've replaced the battery box with the lithium ion rechargeable battery. These are the Power Functions components in the train in this video. With the rechargeable battery it is not needed to take half of the train apart for switching batteries. Unfortunately, since LEGO discontinued the power functions, all prices of all components went up. There are third-party producers of these components and Mold King seems to be the best one. I have built four trains and all trains have a number. So while two trains are running, the other two can be charged. They have a number because they do not behave the same in the train GBC modules. Although all trains are built the same. Here they are charged with the standard power adapter from LEGO for the batteries. All the trains have a power function switch to reverse the drive direction by hitting the green beams. When in the middle the train will stop. LEGO has two types of switches, at the left the new one and at the right the old one with the small black pull reverser switch. The new switch has notches for a clear switch action, as you can hear. The old type does not have notches, you must use this type of switch in the trains. The new switches can also be used, but the notches must be filed away for a free operation of the switch without resistance to change drive direction of the train. The one motor in the train drives everything and the modules take care of the timing system. There is no computer involved, everything is mechanical in every module. So let's see it in action. The train has a gear on every wheel end. This gear is what drives the module, as you can see here. At the right moment, the switch is hit and the train will drive in the other direction. Because the gear is locked at the right when the train is reversed, the train can only jump off the gear onto the train track because it is blocked. On the other side, the train uses gear racks to slide over the Technic beams. The gear racks are precisely long enough to let the wheels run freely and drive the train on the other side. When the train is reversed, it climbs on the gear racks to drive away. The lever that reverses the direction nicely moves out of the way until it is reversed. All these modules have no computer and are driven by the motor in the two trains. In the video description you will find links to free building instructions for everything you see here. All modules were designed by Akiyuki, some even 12 years ago. All of them were improved by the Great Ball Contraction community 
to enhance reliability and show these great machines on events. The passing station lets the trains wait for each other, otherwise they would collide at the crossover. The crossover makes sure the balls get exchanged between machines into a continuous loop. With the rechargeable lithium-ion batteries, the trains can run up to 4 hours with the heavy machines at the back or even a full day with the machines in operation now. I'm using lime as the accent color of my train system, but of course you are free to use any color as the accent color. This can go on all day until the batteries are empty, although the rechargeable battery switches itself off after two hours of operation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.